So what are Yo, we? Yo, I'm just chilling right now. I'm not looking for anything Excuse right me, now. Excuse me, can I talk to you? I saw your you? little girlfriend the other what day. What you mean? You know you're my man. So right? when you gonna make me your girl? You probably say the same thing to all the little girls on your line. Your line. Your line. Welcome to episode four of what you want to call a podcast. I am Alexandra, and my two guests here. I will have you introduce yourself. Hey, y'all. I'm Kaya. Hi, everybody. I'm Kadane. Hi, Kaya. Oh, Hi, Kaya and Kadane. Oh, why did we think of that? That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, y'all cute. Yeah, y'all cute. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, where y'all from? Uh, I am originally from Detroit, Michigan. But I've been living in D.C. for... Well, I've been living in DMV. Oh, my God. It's been six years. Isn't that crazy when you think about it? That like, is I've crazy. been here for a minute. Actually, it'll be seven in January. Well, if I was going to be here in January, but it would have been seven in January. That is so crazy. But yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm from Detroit. Been in the DMV for six years. Almost seven years. I'm here for a minute. Um, what that's yeah. that, right? I feel like I've been here for six years. I've you have. Years. Yeah, like her. <laughs> you have. Like, it's You're, been a minute. It's been a minute. Since um, 2013. Born and raised in Jamaica and residing in Maryland. Keep it okay. simple. Yeah. All right. And you ladies are single? Yes, yes, ma'am. Single and ready to a mingo. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Right, yeah. What do you do for a living? So I am an economist for um, the federal government. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm a teacher. Nice. I work with the babies. Well, high schoolers. You have the patience of Job because listen, Look, I can never. It's God. <laughs> I'd be surprised sometimes. I like, could I'm really never. Working with kids. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. works. So my first real question for you ladies is. What attracts you to a man? Ooh, what attracts you to a man? If you can approach me, you already got me. Like, I can't stand a timid, intimidated man. Oh, you said the word I was about to say. I can't do it. Like, if you can't approach me, you're a double already. Like, tough cookie. So if you can approach me, I'll listen. We'll talk. I'm going to agree with Kadane. That's crazy. I hope we don't agree all night. (laughs) <laughs> I hope we do not do. agree on that. Because, yeah, I would definitely say confidence because I feel like we get this whole, there's this independent black woman stigma yeah. that I freaking hate. Like, I wish I could just, like, ball it up and yeah, throw it away. Yeah, we could be independent, but let's still be bosses. Yeah, but, and yeah. it's like, we get the, so it's like, we're already, you, you come to us with a chip on your shoulder mm-hmm. because you already think that I am. That black woman. Yeah, that independent <laughs> black woman. Like, oh, I'm independent. I don't yeah. need a man. And that's not how most of us think. You I'm know? independent and I want a man. Exactly. I'm independent. <laughs> like, people think like, oh, you independent so you don't need a man. Right. Yeah. Do I, I need a man? That. No. That's not my movement. Yeah. 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 I, I don't need that. a man. I don't have but to I'm take care I'm of myself. Like <laughs> but I mean, I mean, like, I yeah, I can take care of myself, but do I want to? No. Please take the stretch out immediately. So yeah, I think confidence, if you First off, height. I love a tall man because I'm short. I'm 5'10", so what's up? I'm really short. And I was like 6'2", so, so you with like heels tall. on. Yeah. yeah, I can't have you next to me looking like my son. Like, Well, I'm short. I'm I only 5'3", so. And I, I hate that. 5'5 <laughs> five, five is your limit. Like, take, bro, what? absolutely not. Bring me your 5'5 five, five man and I'm going to embarrass you and guys. him. Like, please, no, no, I need my own. No, no. Own, no. Like, and no offense to short men because... I, okay, Five, somebody's gonna limit. love you. Gotta you be but my it ain't height. Me. All right, I'll take it. But if you up, no, mm-mm. Like I gotta that. have, and, it, and maybe I think it's because I do. I always have on heels, yeah, so it's kind of like you know, most people don't even know I'm as short as I am. I'm only five. Yeah, three. when you said I was like you're five three. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm only five. I don't think three. I've ever seen you at that height. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm only five three. So like I have to have a tall man, a tall man with confidence. When you, if you walk in a room and own it. Yeah. Me and you are here. Like, here. Locked in. So, yeah. yeah that's I agree. Yeah. Do you approach a man and how do you approach a man that you are attracted to? Dub. Yes. I'm not. Sorry. What? I'm telling you, you have to present your confidence. Like, we're disagreeing. I'll place myself. Like, if I see somebody I like, I'll probably get closer. Mm-hmm. But if I'm standing next to you all night, you never say nothing to me. That ain't, that ain't the one. Like, I need Fun. you to. So, like, you're attracted to a man. How he gonna know to make his move? I place and- myself. Like, I literally was over here. I saw you come in. I'm walking closer. Shoot your shot. Like, no. Here I am. Here I am. That, you yeah. see that one meme? It was you like, see me because I see me. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> women shoot their shot. By, yeah, they're like, women shoot their shot by thinking about it. Like, and that's enough. <laughs> and you better hear my thoughts. Yes. Like, hello, I'm thinking it. Yeah, see, no, I'm total opposite. But I, I feel like mm-hmm. I'm I'm a people person, though. Yeah. So I'm the kind of person, I'm more, I'm more or less, let's start a conversation. So I'm okay with going up to a guy and being like, hey, 
that's a nice shirt you have on or hey this DJ sucks like whatever the case may yeah. be I'm they okay with it <laughs> you so funny yeah <laughs> like and then <laughs> now then if you don't say nothing then then we have an we'll issue walk away. <laughs> but I'm but I am okay with being yeah. like hey you know I think you should have your num- my number you know uh-huh. I even went, I got went and got business cards made too because I got tired of oh stuff. you were ready let me tell you why let me tell you why there's a reason <laughs> I got you got business cards made you got business cards I got social not, cards made not, yeah. not for business Right. Social cards made. Right. Let me tell you why. Because I got tired of like explaining all this. Like about to pass somebody or like catching somebody's eye or something, and then not having the time to oh, actually you you introduce you myself and everything. So I went and got social cards made. Like wow. so, if I run into that somebody, might be a new move I could just be like, you. "Hey, I really don't have time to talk to you, but you should call Hit me." me up. Boom. Like so. I feel like yes. that's so much more classy. Like, I feel it like is. It's that's way so more classy. Right like, there. I, I respect that. I like that. Thanks, guys. It's I like that. <laughs> It's really sick. Instead of both pulling out your phones, like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just Zero. skip it's all like, that. Hey, hold that. Here's my business card. Like, you can, and then you can choose to use like it or that. not choose to use yeah. it, you know? So, with that being said, what are turn offs, red flags, and deal breakers for you ladies? Ooh. Inconsistency. That's top. Oh, yeah. Like, if you're not hitting my phone, top? like, if you start off hitting my phone, like, every day, and then there's a day that laps, you already oh, like kind of push back a little bit. Mm-hmm. So you gotta be consistent. Like we're not saying manage you all the way. I cannot stand a liar. If I catch you in like a small lie, I'm instantly Looking turned at off. you differently. Yeah, yeah cause it's like, fact. why? Why did you lie? Like we just met each other. Like we have, to at this point, we have no reason to be lying to, to lie. each other. Facts. You know, like, so is this how you start in? Like, this is how you start in? Like you yeah. have no reason to be lying. Like, so that repulses me. Like yes. literally you, you're lying. Are you five years old? Yeah. Why and the lying? worst thing you want to do is lose my respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once you lose Definitely my respect, it's kind of like, what am I even doing here with yeah, you now? Yeah. Like, you got to grow up. Yeah, you have to grow up. Like, so that lying stuff, inconsistency is definitely a big thing because it takes nothing to send a text message. You're not that it takes busy. Nothing. I don't care what you're saying. Like, you're not that busy. So I'm like, I'm pretty busy. Trump like, tweets all day long. You if can he be can busy. Tweet, you can send a text message. That, okay, he's running, the country, well, running the country. Well, running the country instead. I can't. Like my country. friends, like if they're on social media, I see like you know Instagram be snitching. Active, <laughs> <laughs> active five minutes ago. So I'm like, I sent you a text an hour ago. Off. I turned my you off, can? so you can't even oh, see yeah, that. Oh yeah, I should try that. I, I feel like off. we're more active on Instagram than we are via text, and, and that's both. fine. But if we're talking, like if we're at a point where we're communicating frequently, like I need you to be consistent and hit mm-hmm. my line. Like we're not doing this social media stuff. Like that's for entertainment purposes. Like if you're really, really trying to invest, like mm-hmm. be consistent. Be consistent. Oh, you good. know what else is like? You know what else I'm starting to like get to, was starting to get to me. What's that? Well, not starting to get to me. I think I'm starting to notice it now that I guess I'm a little bit older. But mm-hmm. bad fathers. That is a deal breaker yeah. for me. Yeah. Now that I can't I'm in do the, with you. Now that I'm in the point where I'm like, dating, <laughs> like I'm, I'm maybe dating guys who have kids. If you, if I'm seeing that you flag. are a bad father yeah. or like an absent father, I am like blocking you yeah. quick, fast, and in I'm a hurry. Like, yeah. That is repulsive. Yeah. Like, like what future am I building? Because I could possibly be her. I don't care what bitch <laughs> you have with her. That's your child. That's I your stomach hurt. Like, yeah. Like, I, could, like that yeah. Rep- I hate a weak man. I, I remember think I dated a man <laughs> and um, we talked about kids and like the whole time he told me he didn't have kids. That's sick. And he had a child. That's sick. Like, <laughs> you got If go. you're lying, on your child to get whatever you're That's getting sick. like in life. Yeah. Almost good. Are you a good person? Like Yeah. You're not. I don't care your how child, you flip it. Like, I don't care what the mother puts you through. Your goal is your child. Yeah. yeah. Like that you're harming that child. And I work and with that kids child who are was, affected that by child, not having parents. That, that child was eight. Like it's not even like it was a newborn eight? child. So this kid home. has been here. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Whole elementary school student. <laughs> Nigga on his way to high school. You <laughs> 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 act like he don't exist. Oh, yeah. No, 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 nah, he's no. not a pocket. Yeah. No, that is crazy. And that just says How a lot you about your out? character. Oh, I, you did your woman to shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said the research. Got it. Okay, wow. you're hiding a whole human. I wasn't hiding the world mm-hmm. for my baby. I was hiding. This <laughs> Get that out of here! Like yeah. that's mad yeah. so weird. That was, what else could you lie about? That was super crazy. Ex- and exactly, that's and my that's biggest that's fear. Like, about your what else? You probably have a body in the backyard. Like yeah. And that's what I mean when I say lies. Like that's why lies is a big huge yeah, turn because you're lying. Be minor for no reason. and it could be severe. You know, like you never yeah. know the difference. That's, so that's lying ass men is is yeah. a turn off. Lying ass short men actually <laughs> that, is a turn off. Right. You don't want to tell nobody like 
Yeah, you got a whole kid, a whole person. You need to seek counseling. Yeah, yeah. at that point. That's that's sad. So we're gonna move on to the next. <laughs> my, my my blood pressure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm sitting here so disgusted. Like there's yeah. men out here like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, sip, see. or in this case, sip champagne. Sip, okay. <laughs> yeah, I ran out, so I'm just I'm gonna move to the next topic. Um, <laughs> how do you get out of the friend zone? How do you get out of the friend zone? Yeah. Like, hmm. you got a friend. Your friend is fine. You know your friend fine. Your friend know he's fine. Mm. And at this point, you've been friends for a long time. And you know your friend. You know, your friend. You know what you can handle, what you can't. You right. see how your friend treats women. You know, like... It's an interesting question. You are feeling this friend. And you like, so, yeah. This friendship Ooh. is... That is going to have to question. level up. So. so it's like we're friends, we're cool, we're cordial. No, are we, we are friends. No, you're, we're, we're genuine friends. friends. You're my homie. I've known you for and a long time. And I want time. you. And I want you to Y'all be already my know. I, I know. I don't know that that's ever happened to me. Yeah, I can't ever. Think I've of had a time. friend. Oh, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably <laughs> sounds like it. Hey, I've, I, I mean, I I've had a, I've had a friend who was trying to get out of the friend zone with me, but I don't know that I've what? ever I'm not doing it. If I if I was in a friend zone, I didn't know that I was in a friend right. or I knew I was in a friend zone, but I wanted to yeah. be there. Like, it's like I have guy friends. It's like my brothers. So if they yeah. ever move different, I'd be like, ew, they're wild. <laughs> like you're out of pocket. Stop. So yeah. I have this weird thing where like, like I be falling in love with my friends sometimes. Like, <laughs> like it's weird. Like it's not weird. It starts because friends are close got, relationships. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. and I have those friends where it's like, oh, you're gonna be my friend for life. Yeah. Like you're never getting out of the friend zone. Mm-hmm. And then there's some friends where I'm like, you can see something. Hmm. Yeah. You a good friend, mm-hmm. and I can see you being like a good. I see how you treat that life is, partner. The risk like, with that is like, I love our friendship. We right. go through this dating room, and it doesn't work. Can you we go back there? It. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that even worth it? It's a risk, but it's a very dangerous. It's, it's a, a slippery, slippery, it's a slippery, slippery slope. slope. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. So what do you want to do, Alex? Like, what do you? So what do you want to do? <laughs> so I usually talk about it. So it's mm-hmm. not all my friends, but every now and then I'll have a friend where it's like, okay, you're a dope friend, mm-hmm. and I can see like you know, you know how to treat a woman. You treat me great. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm ready to settle down. So mm-hmm. like, what <laughs> <I'm> better? <ready. laughs> what like better way to settle down with you? With your friend. <laughs> so is it, okay. So so I guess is it that you want to settle down? And you're mm-hmm. like, you're here, why not you? Or is it that you genuinely want to settle that down person. with that person? Yeah. Because there's a difference. Genu- no, I think it's genuinely, because I'm very, very, very picky. Like, mm-hmm. I'm very, like, when I want you, it's because I've examined every Everything. single mm-hmm. aspect mm-hmm. of you from your family. Mm-hmm. And, like, this could work. To the way you treat that's women. An, because an, with my friends, thing. like, <laughs> I'm a local person. My it's friends assessing. are local. They come to me about their dating situations, what's mm-hmm. going on. So yeah. I see how you treat women. Mm-hmm. And I would, I have friends who, I know they fine. Like my friend, like look at my friend, he's fine. Like ladies, he is. You single. do have some five friends. Like, I have you some do. Friends. And I hope they're watching. <laughs> they but I can look at my five friends and be like, oh yeah, I'll never be with him. He's a fool. I see mm-hmm. how he be dogging with me. He's not gonna right. dog me like that. Mm-hmm. And I would never even think about leaving the friend zone with that friend. Mm-hmm. But then I have other friends where I'm like, oh, you treated that girlfriend so nice. Mm-hmm. I should be that girl. I, mean, I should be that girlfriend. <laughs> boyfriend. And she was oh, oh. How has that worked? Like played out? How's that? Work. It's difficult. <laughs> it's very, it's like, very what, difficult. What happens after you settle yeah. down? Uh, <laughs> it's happened once. Okay. Um, and I asked that friend, like, um, so what you want? <laughs> like, what you because, trying to do? I'm gonna tell you what I want. Let's see if we can meet somewhere. And like, so what do you want? And my friend was like, whoa. All <laughs> oh, right. And I was like, what you mean? What? <laughs> I'm saying So you're trying to say oh, you didn't know that Because I felt that No Okay right. never mind I don't do well with the rejection So I never ever yes. like If it's what my friend with people in rejection I just be like I can't Like The only time I feel bad about rejection Is when it's attached to a check That's no, it Like, like no. okay. When it's a job okay. And I get rejected for something Then I feel some type of way When but I it's get a person, rejected I'm like It's I'm 700 like, I think my rejection is my breath, like, <laughs> <laughs> What is it For women it really is different though It is Like I Probably the last time I got rejected was like middle school. Yeah, and, and so if I get rejected today, yeah, I reevaluate my whole life. Like, yeah, like what? I got rejected like last weekend, and I was <laughs> totally okay with that. It. I- what happened? All right. Bye. Like, what you mean rejected? It was this, what it, it was like a, very similar to the conversation we were just having. It was this guy at the bar, and I was like, "Who is it?" <laughs> and he was like, "Well, he he said he had a fiance." Okay, that's yeah. different though. That's he not a rejection. Fiance, but we ended up we started having a whole conversation about. The, um, I respect that. That's different. Like, if you like a bees, single dude, no, we started having a conversation about politics. Yeah, um, like if you're a single dude and somehow I wrote you mm-hmm. and you reject me, I'm gonna be like, you're a wild. Like, oh, you're gay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Stop. 
It's wow. not. What do you mean? You that's crazy. crazy. I'm dead ass. Like, so now you told so me no. Because he rejected you. I'm low key fire. Like in the most humble way though. Like I just you never been raised. Like, that's like it's cool. He like boys. <laughs> <laughs> that he, has girl, to be. don't even go over there. He like boys. <laughs> that has to be the like if that's the explanation. Cool. Oh but my god. No, that's crazy. like you just. Talk to me. What yeah. is it? Like, <laughs> so with this podcast, I've learned like from a lot of male guests that men like being approached if you approach them the right way. That ain't so me. they do I, like being approached. This, this they must do. be something. Wow. They do. What millennial nigga said this? That's what I'm it's, saying. It's, it's, it's it has to times, be something you know, new. It's I'm not like doing end times it. is really different. And like, these you know, are the same men that will live in a female's house, be homeless, and all that. Like we're gonna eliminate you. I'm so not dealing with it. After like one or two rejections in my life, I realized this is not the that. That ain't for me. Yeah. Like, so I can't approach a man. Really? I can't approach him because I rejection to me. I'd be like, yo, what is the so what's yeah. the problem? We like, figure this out. Like, like, what's, like, what's really good out here? So, like, if I'm attracted to a man, I'll probably like pass him like 15 times. Yeah, like, like stuff. Like, uh, <laughs> like, 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 I just want to be known that I, I feel like I'm you need to pad me for you. Social cards. We can get popping. you some social cards. It. That way you don't have to be worried. So if you are afraid of rejection, you don't have to be worried about you it. Even know the if you, you won't even know. You mm-hmm. won't even know. It could have been he lost your car. Well, you not. And he's either going to hit you up or he's not. Yeah. Like sometimes I the next like morning, that. you might not even remember you gave him your card. I do like that. Because it had been a couple times. I'd have been like, I'm sorry. Who are you? Where? What? Why? So my next question is what is a good guy? Define a good guy. A good guy? Yeah. What is a like? You look at him and you're like, oh my gosh, he's such a good man. Why? What? What? what I like a man that's a go getter. Like he has a plan for his life. Ambition. Like yeah, like I'm sapiosexual. Like your brain is mm-hmm. attracted to, attracted to your yeah your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you got your me right intellect. There. Like I love intellect, a man yeah. that can really articulate his life. Mm-hmm. Kind of try to figure me out in the midst of it too. Like. So you're paying attention. Okay, I like that. So a man with a plan, very responsible, to like open my door. Like I dead would stand there yeah. and you have to open my door. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a lady. A I gentleman, was raised a gentleman like that. is the way to get that's how you yeah, get Yeah, like you come like, from that's somewhere. How you that. That's how you get that. <laughs> that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like a man man. I need it. Yeah. So that's definitely like top three or four traits. And of course, you know, just being respectful. Super friendly or nah? We mean super friendly to you, yeah, you mean, like general. everybody. Like I mean, you can be cool, but don't disrespect me. It's hard for me to speak negatively on that because apparently, according to, according to all of my exes and my friends, I'm a huge flirt. I'm just, I'm really just a people person. Yeah, friendly. But people say, yeah. yeah, but people, it comes off like people that. call it flirting. Like, and I have, and some people who I haven't been flirting with have been thinking I was flirting with them, so I get it. Oh. But when it comes to like, I'm okay with you being friendly because like yeah. I said I'm a people person and I ha- I've had one of my exes is a complete asshole and that's just who he is yeah. like it's not like he doesn't he's I not going like out of his way <laughs> I'm sure you do <laughs> everybody his name starts with an A too right or no no okay uh, so I guess so to answer the question what I am most attracted to is a person who is can just be who they are. Yeah. And confident to confident me, are. Com- yeah. to like just be yeah. who you yeah. are. Like if you know you're an asshole own it own it you know be an <laughs> asshole you know like yeah. so the most a good man to me is a person who knows what they want who mm-hmm. knows who they are and who knows what they want so that's my own when it comes to um preferences physical physical is height but when it comes to like just who you are as a person mm-hmm. just know be confident in who you are yeah. like know and know what you want know what you're going for and and go for it like yeah. have that drive because that, that truly ambition. saves time like don't waste my time don't <laughs> wait you. yours like show me who you thank are you. from the gate thank so you. we can figure out this is it because what, but if over the year i'm finding some brand new stuff about you like who are you yeah, you're a narcissist. yeah. like where did this come from yeah like, and then women we're naturally nurturers so what yeah. we try to do Fix is it. help you find mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. and then yeah. now we're we fixing you I'm not doing now it no we more. put you together now we growing a man now you would a damn chia pet you just you just covered a whole man sprinkling the the next you know woman, as women in your late 20s mid to late 20s do you feel like there's pressure to get married or settle down like facts. do you feel like you know facts we have a time clock as women we have a time clock so any so of I my family listening kids. to this podcast <laughs> stop asking me bro don't ask me when i'm getting married don't ask bro. me when i'm buying a my house 
she so said that, when I'm having like, a baby. My parents don't think I'm a child, so I gotta worry about none of that. But what? I would, bro. No. Everybody be so. You mm-hmm. graduated. Where's your husband, bro? Like y'all told me focus on my book. So, like <laughs> when did I have like, time for yeah, that? Right. Like, you know. I'm, and that's not everybody. Like the thing is, that's not everybody's everybody, goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, for we me, trying to live. This I had certain goals. I had life. certain goals that I wanted to reach. Before. By by a certain mm-hmm. age or whatever, and none of them had anything to do with a husband, a husband a or a kid. Mm-hmm. None of them had anything to do with that. <laughs> right, and living. guess what? I'm living though. Yeah, you know, I've reached and you're those happy, goals. Cause honestly, and I'm happy. As soon as you have a husband, I know for me, I'm gonna be cooking every day. Yeah. I gotta make sure I take care of you. Like I know what I want for my family. Like I know mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. not. I want that, but I'm not in a rush for it. Mm-hmm. Prayfully, I'm gonna get it regardless. But it's like your life literally stops. Like people say, "Oh, I can still live my life." No, you gotta move and act like you have somebody to live Different, for. Yeah. yeah, like you can say whatever you want. Oh, I have yeah. a babysitter, or whatever. But I want to be selfish for as long as I can. And people mm-hmm. think we don't have time. Like I'm so sick of, "Oh, you're getting older. You're yeah. getting older." Like I'm, I'm not thirty. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> and even if I was thirty. People this are having, woman, 42 years old, still what's having it healthy King babies. Moore, who just had that Facts. gorgeous ass oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. She's this like 46. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's you know true. what I'm saying? Like, people yeah. are, my whole thing is. Don't we, limit me. Life expectancy yeah. is like 80 years old. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You want me to spend three fourths of my life with the husband and the kids? No, I'm not doing that. When yeah. I just got into adulthood, like yeah. I'm not doing it. It's not, and it's not a goal for everybody. And stop mm-hmm. trying to force that on everybody. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. not a goal it's for everybody. It's like every time everybody. you see me, like, when do you get married? Like, good afternoon. How when are you getting married, auntie? <laughs> right. When are you going to be in a happy marriage? When are you going to be in a happy marriage? Okay. With that being said, do y'all ever find yourselves dealing with fear of settling down? Never fear of settling. I will be down? by myself. I'm not settling. Wait, you mean settle? What do you like mean? no, like you, 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 like you afraid to settle down. You're like, whoa, things are going so well right now. Like, oh, do no. I really want to? I mean, like, if I get an opportunity, hmm. I'll go with it. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I, right now, yes. And now, but I only, got, I only got here. I only got to this point because I was in a long term relationship. Mm-hmm. So I only got to this point, you know, in the last probably like seven or seven or m- months or so okay. and so now fresh. i am kind of like damn do i yeah. want to get back in a relationship like that like do i want to get back in a relationship because yeah. i am enjoying myself and i'm loving like who i'm becoming i'm loving like yeah. i'm loving loving on me and getting to not know having me. to worry about the next person yeah feelings. and not having to i don't have to ask for anything i don't if i want to up and move i don't have to worry about like yeah. how this gonna affect you I, this person mm-hmm. gonna feel hey i gotta pack you up too and you know like you know you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff so yeah. but if it presents itself of course you wouldn't shun it or would you I don't know. Yeah. I honestly don't think. I don't it. think. It, and the thing about it is, I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> honestly, that brings me to my next question oh, about, God. God. about healing, healing oh. from a yeah. toxic relationship or a relationship that you thought was good and ended yeah. bad, or like you know, because sometimes you need that period. You need that period yeah. to heal, and you mm-hmm. need that period yeah. to kind of find yourself again because you're so used to being with that person especially right, if it's right, long right, term right. Yeah. your whole life your whole is around, your whole yeah, life is that around person. Yeah. so when when you lose that person or it's no longer a thing anymore it's like mm-hmm. you got to kind of pick up the pieces and figure mm-hmm. out who you are again life all over yeah again. your yeah. life was them and they were your life so mm-hmm. it's like you're used to talking to them speak every on day, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. speak on it i know for me like i think the longest it took me to heal fully truly two years Two years. Yeah, that's it. It took years. me about a year. It took me, and I didn't even realize. And I was like, because, like you said, you don't want to be bothered with that. You don't want to go through all that. Like you're yeah. detoxing everything. Everything face. Everything Facebook is reminding you of. Yeah. Facebook. Facebook just hit me with your life earlier, and yeah. I was like, wow. So I was like, it, Facebook, please it's back It's a off. big <laughs> detox. So On top I of that, not even that. Good. Like when you go through so much emotional trauma yeah. and stress and pain, it's like you unconsciously or subconsciously kind of get emotionally disconnected or you don't want to form. You yeah. don't want to deal with none of that. Numb <laughs> is the, that's like you, the best word. I was not I've heard And I didn't even night. realize it, but I stayed busy. Yeah. So I didn't even realize See, it. And then and when that, it's it's like, you like, don't even want to connect with somebody emotionally no more because you're so Drain. emotionally exhausted. <laughs> I'm rebuilding. Exactly. You're like, yeah. bro, nah, I'm good. I, I, like, get, I get both of your points. Yeah. But for me, when I finally started when i finally started the healing process Mm -hmm. from you know breaking up or whatever i kind of it was almost like i went through the stages kind of like the stages of grief like you know that and that kind of for me that's how it was like my very first stage um i remember being in complete denial like complete denial that's like i remember being like Like, oh no we broke up before we get back together not even that we would get back together i just for the lot for 
for the longest time, it just it didn't sit right with me. Like, mm. dang, my relationship is really over. Like this, because this is a person who I felt like we we're, were going to spend future, the rest of my everything. life with. Yeah. And so oh, it was like, I you know. I that. I was like, <laughs> I was like, this is it. I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> You good? Right. Uh, I'll let you later. Oh, facts. <laughs> like, like, oh, and yeah. not, yeah. yeah. So, but and the way it happened for you and it was how I was like, what the hell? Everybody. I was definitely walking on eggshells because I didn't know how to be like, everybody was. Hey, yeah. friend. Everybody was. We good? It had to, you it good? Got, it got like, to the point where I had to tell my friends, like, everybody just relax. Yeah. Everybody relax. <laughs> I don't know how to not it shoot it up. Oh, okay. I don't know what to ask. We're going to be ask. okay. I mean, it's so, not okay, but we're going to be yeah. okay. For one, like, I appreciate when everything first happened, like my friends, they did initially, they did tiptoe around me. Yeah. Because they yeah, knew how like, I loved them. They did, yeah. they, my friends did tiptoe around me. But eventually they were like, okay, yeah, she's hurting, but she's okay. Yeah. You know, like she's okay. And you were still trying to. Yeah. Because life goes on. Because life goes on. And then I remember going over one time and it was all dark. And I was like. <laughs> Nigga was going. I was like, even your post. But I was honest about yeah, going even your post. I was, I just like, was like, this ain't her. She, I was yeah. like, bro, do you leave the house? <laughs> She's like, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I like my dad though. Because I was, I, I, like, I was honest, Real. and my friends knew. Like, yeah. they like, you all right, you nigga? No, like, no, I'm not okay. Pass me that donut. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shit. So, ladies, do you have any questions for me? Uh, are you looking for love or are you open Such to love? love I'm know. open to love. I wouldn't say that I'm looking for love okay. because I'm not out here like, so is that love over there or is that <laughs> right. love? So like, that bang, but you're open to bang? it. <laughs> right. I'm open to it yeah. in the sense where like, I'm in a place in life where like, I finally have, have started my career. I finally finished school. I've been in school all my life. Like, right. <laughs> I have not all your life though. Like, like, no, really. I've no, started really. ventures, like business ventures, and mm-hmm. I'm at a place where like I can I can involve someone else in my life. Mm-hmm. Like I'm ready for a partnership. And that matters. Relationships are like plants. They require watering. So yep. like you, you know contribute. Yeah, like mm-hmm. little stuff like yeah, that. Guys these days are quick to like dip. You know what? Yeah. Let me not let me not just say guys. Let me not just say guys because People. you know what? Millennials are like that yeah. because yeah. we look for things that have instant gratification. Yeah. Well, social media has mm-hmm. messed us up. So yeah. we look for Michael things with instant gratification. It's like, you know, yeah. I can get out of this relationship because look, such and such, they on a trip and they doing this and we don't we don't fight for things. We That's true. Things. It's like you move I funny one that. time I'm out. I'm like, dang, like why shoes with his mouth open? I also feel like it's a fine line between like losing interest so quickly and suddenly and mm-hmm. like settling. Like okay. I know that what I want is out there. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like if I see things going in a direction that I didn't want it to go, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm gonna be like, yo, my fallback game is gonna be strong. Yeah. Like, cause guess what? What I want is out <laughs> the there. Right so like, yeah. that's not even, that's not it. I'm not gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna hold me. I'm gonna just. Use. And what is for you? <laughs> what is for you will always be for you. For you. you. Right. And I keep saying It'll that come. like, like time. even like when I talk to people about like jealousy and what like boundaries are like or restrictions or whatever is on a relationship, I always tell people like you know like I'm not gonna force you to respect me. I'm not gonna force you to like treat me a certain way yeah. how I want to be treated. If I don't see you treating me like that, then hey, guess what? You're yeah. just not for me, You're buddy. Not like yeah. I'm not gonna I'm tell not you. Dealing with that. So you need to stop talking to all these girls in public. No, if you can't naturally respect me right. to Let know me see like how, you how to carry yourself, mm-hmm. then I'm gonna be like, okay, well maybe this was not for me. Yeah, like, you should have common sense, respect, courtesy to know not to do certain things. Things, yeah. So if you blatantly doing that, I'm just like, yeah, right, that's you. And <laughs> and I kept and I brought this up in another like discussion, like. In a dating phase, it's a very slippery slope. Like it's it's, it's one slippery. thing, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. because it could be that one thing. Ooh, and I'm like, yes. if if you're, you're doing this that. in the dating phase, what's left? So now, in a really, if you can't ever respect me in the dating right. phase to care about my feelings or like how I feel towards you, yeah. bro, if I let this get swept under the rug, yep. and we go into a relationship, it's only gonna amplify and get worse. And and somebody like, was telling see, me that, like, right like black guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, so let's this go ahead awesome. and drop them handles for these young, fine bachelors is looking at you like, ooh, who that? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's eager to do it. Um, oh, damn, what is my Instagram name? I'm exposing myself. So my name is Kadane, 
And my social media handle on Instagram and Twitter is Nyadak, which is Kadane backwards. Instagram. So honestly, most people don't know that. Like, they'll see me yeah. and probably be like, hey, hey Nyadak. Nyadak. And I'll be like, hey, what's up? Like, I legit have friends who only call me that. And I'm mm-hmm. just like, it's I'm an annoying than, friend. Yeah, you do that. You're like, Nyadak. <laughs> hey, Nyadak. Naya. Naya. I'm like, <laughs> Hey, like I'm used you know to it for now. You the longest I didn't know that. That's exactly. What that was. I'm like I'm exposing myself is, now. So it took yeah. that's the secret, guys. It's Kadane backwards. That's so. kind of cute. That's kind of clever. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So my <laughs> Instagram name, which I don't know it because it's I just don't, to look it up. Yeah, I do, have to, I do have to look it up. So my Instagram name is i dot m dot keech k e e c h, which is a really it's a nickname. Yeah, explain that. What it's a that? nickname. I got it when I was p- pledging yeah, honestly I remember that. but yeah so people mess up my name all the time so i'm okay with kaya just kaya just call me kaya call me keech either one but do not call me nikia or nikichi <laughs> <Nikichiwa. laughs> well this was awesome thanks thank, thank you, you it's a wrap <laughs>